Hi, my fellow Virgos. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do our weekly love and general reading for the week of April 17th to the 23rd, 2017. So let me just say Happy Easter to all of you. Hope you guys have a beautiful Easter. So for those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. I'm having a hard time picking these up today. Um, so um, just keep in mind that there is no gender. Private readings, that stuff matters, uh, but not in the generals. And those of you that would like a private reading with me, um, all of my contact info is always below the videos. A um, couple days I could have your reading up. Okay, Virgo, now you do start out, this is the overall energy, is the Ten of Swords, but don't panic, because um, this looks pretty positive for, for a lot of you. Um, you know, with the Ten of Swords, you know, for many of you, Tens do represent that, that ending, you know, ending of a cycle, you know, for many, many of you, you know, this could be a difficult cycle. You know, but the good thing is that, you know, you're closing, you know, that door you know, on a difficult situ situation, different chapter in your life. You know, you've gone through the worst. You know, though you've gone through the worst of it. The worst of it's behind you. The Two of Swords is under that. You may have made a decision to do so. Um, you know, you're shutting the door. On, on a difficult time within your life. You know, now we have the Four of Wands and the Hierophant, okay? For a lot of you, I do feel like maybe you, you know, want to move to a new home, maybe purchased a new home. You know, the, the Four of Wands, you know, I always say it is my, my happy home card. You know, maybe spending a lot of time with family this week. You know, the home could definitely be important this week. You know, maybe you're redecorating, decorating your home. You know, this is also with the Four of Wands, security, stability. Could represent, you know marriage, you know, you know, maybe just things happening in your life that are going to bring you a lot of happiness, but also a lot of um, stability. You know, with the Hierophant, This card definitely could represent you getting getting a job. It could also represent a legal company, you know, you landing this this job. Uh, your yeah, legal company, like a large company, like you got you know maybe the job within this company. Um, it could represent legal issues as well, like like legal important paperwork documents. Um, But, but more so, you know, maybe you landing that job, you know, that brings in the stability, you know, that you're, that you're trying to build on, you know, for others of you, maybe you got married or you're getting married this weekend. You know, that's beautiful for some of you it could be, you know, moving in with your partner. Because the Hierophant, you know, does represent that, you know, committed, you know, relationships with the Four of Wands here. You know, maybe you're taking your relationships to the next level. Um, you know, you're you're moving in together. I do feel like a home is very important this week for a lot of you, you know, with the, you know, with the Hierophant, you know, he does represent you also keeping the faith, 
And then, like I know, I was starting to say before, very important paperwork. You know, documents. You know, which is very important paperwork that could be coming in for you. You know, for the family, something that is going to bring in a lot of a lot of happiness um, to the foundation. Hierophant means could mean so many things. Um, definitely ending something and starting something new. And with the Three of Cups being here, you know, it says, you know, a celebration, you know, graduation. You know, it is a very um, celebratory energy. You know, maybe you're, you know, definitely, you know, being in a good place emotionally, I, I feel like for a lot of you, you know, being social, you know, for some of you, it could, it could have been, you know, you just maybe, you know, you, you're getting it out, out and about maybe more this weekend, this week, you know, socializing, spending time with your friends and family. Um, feeling happy about something, you know, wanting to tell your friends, your family, wanting that, you know, feeling excited, wanting to tell them about it, celebrate it. For some of you, I mean, it could definitely represent a situation with three people, you know, a family situation. I'm feeling for a few of you. You know, maybe dealing with deeds, legal contracts. Um, but however, it, I mean, however it resonates for you. Emotionally, I think you're you're in a really good place, and and you've made this decision. Five of Cups is under that too. All right, so you guys are Virgo. You're mo most likely a lot of you are ending things, whether it is in in your job or a relationship, you know, and starting something new. But a home does feel very important for the majority of you this week. Let's see what the rest of the cards say, okay? Could be a job, new location, or a home. Either or with this card. It's a huge opportunity being presented to you this week. You know, it's definitely a change is coming your way. You're either moving, you know, to a new residence, or, you know, changing you know, that location, maybe changing offices within the company that you work for. But it is, it is really a, a, a huge opportunity. Um, you know, maybe you've been thinking about moving to a new home. You know, but with this card, it really is time to consider... You know, making that a reality, like really, you know, deciding to make the to make the choice and, and really doing it, or your employment. Yeah, others of you, I mean, literally, you know, you're you're right on the cusp of landing that new job that you're looking for. You know, with the two of swords under here, you know, you could be deciding between the two. Oh. Whatever two that is for you. Oh, for some, yeah, a lot of you, it, it definitely is referencing around a new home. Moving in a step in the right direction. This is, um, if I didn't mention, I'm so sorry if I didn't, guys. Um, during Virtue of Mally Valentine's Angel Tarot. All the other cards here, too, are by During Virtue. But, um... There's definitely changes before you guys this week. 
you know, you're, you're moving to a new location with positive results. You know, and even if, you know, if you're feeling a little nervous, worried about it, I mean, this really, whatever this is for you, however this resonates, it really is going to bring in a lot of structure, stability, um, you know, you know, fives, you know, it, it could be challenging, you know, it could be, a, you know, challenging, a little bit challenging for some of you, but it is a positive change. You know, also with this card, like I said before, you really could be moving in with your partner. Others of you really could be getting married this week. You know, buying, building, remodeling that home. It really, the home, I said that from the very beginning. The home is very, very significant this, this week. Okay, um, these are Flower Therapy, Dorian Virtue, and Robert Reeves. When you guys have patience, your prayers have been heard and they're being answered. So it was just a little bit of patience, you know, until the middle of the week, I feel like. You know, you're just asked to be patient, be calm. You know, and the calmer that you are and the calmer you remain, you know, the better off, you know, you're able to pay attention to your intuition too. You're able to, you know, hear what God, your angels are trying to speak to you. But um, a little bit of patience, guys. You're definitely ending it this week. Um, you know, those of you that are feeling frustrated, just you know, take a step back. It, it's it, it's happening. You know, whatever whatever this is that you're trying to manifest this week. Bring in that the decision's been made. This is happening. Whether you made the decision, the universal energies have aligned up for you guys, but it's be it's done. Loving words from Jesus, be of good comforter. Your faith has made you whole. Matthew 9 22. Beautiful. Dolphins and the mermaids, blessed change. A major life change brings you great blessings. That's a big transformation for a lot of you. And, you know, even if, you know, maybe, you know, with the Ten of Swords, you're really in the mind a lot, worrying a lot unnecessarily, you know, you're just, Maybe feel like you know, your whole life is turned upside down right now with this card. But guys, it's really not. It, it, it's, it may feel like that. But all of this that's happening, whatever this move is, this change is for you. It is a very blessed one. They're, they're helping you to, to, you know, to move forward. You know, to leave behind what no longer serves you. It's divinely guided, and it's it's a it's a divinely it's, it's divinely guided. It, it's it's a change that's meant to happen. It's meant to be, and I just said that before with the two of swords. I mean, I do feel like it is um, like the decision's already been made for you. You're moving, whether it's up within the company you work for, a new job, a new home, a new relationship. Now, those of you that it, it is referencing three people, that's ending. You know, The Hierophant does represent Taurus. 
you know, which is definitely, you know, your energy too as well, Virgo. It could be in your charts. You know, but if not, you know, definitely a Taurus could be important. Those of you that are involved in this, this love triangle. But I feel like the commitment with the Hierophant is on your side. Okay, this is your reading. You know, this this person is definitely ready to end and start anew. Really ready to, to, to commit or even maybe even move move in with you. Let's see what the love cards say. Um, we special love Angela Hartfield. Spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in a significant relationship with. Listening and taking, listening and talking to each other. Notice how the moon is in this card. You know, so, you know, you guys are feeling what I said before. You know, the moon does represent that, that, that fear based energy, being worried, anxious. And, and I do feel like for some of you, that's what this 10 of swords is. You're, you're in the mind. And you're, you're really worrying unnecessarily, but definitely bringing, you know, for others of you, definitely bringing something to a close, moving forward. Like, this change is beautiful. It really, really is. No. Okay, so, you know, just spending time together. You know, get out of it. It's, you know... We all, we don't, we don't do it enough, you know, even with our friends, our family, you know, because it is easy to slip into our daily routines, you know, of our daily lives. But this week it is important to set it, set time aside and, um, you know, really connect, especially with your partner, you know, give your partner that full attention that's not, you know, interrupted, make eye contact, Learn to appreciate each other. Beautiful. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. See? Looking at each other. I like it. This, yeah, look, this looks beautiful, right? Beautiful. Right? New love, for sure. Oh, my God. I can't make that up. Uh, cool. Uh, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Yeah, this love triangle, if it, if it is a love triangle, Virgo, I think um, for sure, I said this before, that you're going to be the new love. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a new love. True love, too. Wow. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, for some, I mean, for some of you, it could be Taurus, but any sign, really. Let's pull it over all. Guidance card, Virgo. Virgo. Victory. Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work, Omega. You know, horses, power, speed, movement, victory. This could um, move a lot faster than you think, Virgo. Beautiful. Love it. That card definitely wanted to come out, too. So whatever it is, you know, it's, I said it before, it definitely is in your favor, Virgo. Yay, Virgo. All right, guys, I love it. 
Guys, have a beautiful, beautiful, happy Easter. I hope this reading helps you guys out for the week. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video, um, for subscribing to the channel. And that to those of you that have not subscribed, please do so, so I could see all of your comments. Um, thank you guys so much. Virgo, have a beautiful, blessed week, and I will see you guys back here very soon. Bye-bye.